The iPhone 15 is pretty similar to the iPhone 14, but it has some neat stuff. For example, it has the dynamic island, which is this little area on the screen that shows some apps and has the front cameras. It's way cooler than the old notch. Another thing that changed is the glass on the back of the phone. Apple made it so that the color is part of the glass, not just on it. That means it won't get old or dirty as fast. The iPhone 15 also has a USB-C port now. That's awesome because it means one can use one charger for their phone and their laptop. One thing I really like is the new satellite feature. You can call for help from anywhere, even if you don't have cell service. That's super useful if you're in trouble or you're somewhere remote. It has an amazing 6.1-inch screen that makes everything look great. It's not the highest resolution or the fastest refresh rate, but Apple knows how to make colors and brightness look just right. It has a super high contrast ratio that makes blacks really black, and a very bright peak brightness that makes whites really white. HDR is cool, but it's even cooler on the iPhone 15, because it has a screen that can show HDR content like no other. If you're a fan of photography, you'll love the iPhone 15. It has two cameras on the back, one with 48 megapixel and one with 12 megapixel. That can take amazing photos in any situation. The camera quality is superb, and you'll be amazed by the clarity and vibrancy of your shots. The front camera is 12 megapixel, and it can take awesome selfies, and the best part is the portrait mode that makes you look like a star. The A16 Bionic chip in the iPhone 15 is awesome. It has 6 cores in the CPU and 5 cores in the GPU, so it can handle any app or game you throw at it. The battery life is also amazing. It lasts for a long time even with heavy gaming. The iPhone 15 charges pretty fast with a 20-watt power adapter. It takes about half an hour to fill it up. It also works with MagSafe wireless chargers. It still uses USB-C, though, so there's no speed boost from that. The Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra got some amazing changes from last year's model. The phone has a titanium frame instead of armor aluminum, which feels nicer in your hand and won't get scratched as easily. It also has a cool texture that catches the light. The edges are less rounded so you can hold the phone more securely. The screen is flatter and has less space at the bottom, which makes the huge display seem even more impressive. If you're looking for a phone with an awesome screen, you can't go wrong with the S24 Ultra. It has a huge 6.8-inch AMOLED screen that can change its refresh rate from 1Hz to 120Hz depending on what you're doing. That means it can save battery when you don't need it and give you a smooth experience when you do. The screen is super sharp and clear, and you can make it even sharper by changing the resolution in the settings. The S24 Ultra also has the brightest screen of any phone right now. It can go up to 2,600 nits. That makes it easy to see even in bright sunlight. The S Pen is what makes the Galaxy Ultra phones special. It's tucked away in a little hole on the left side of the phone. You just push it in and it pops out a bit, then you can grab it with your fingers. The phone keeps the S Pen charged when it's inside, and it also reminds you when you take it out or forget it somewhere. The S Pen can be used for notes, drawings, or other stuff. There's a button on the side that does different things like taking photos or changing slides. The phone has some apps that work well with the S Pen, like Smart Select, Samsung Notes, and Air Actions. But Samsung hasn't added anything new to the S Pen this year, which is kind of weird. The S24 Ultra is a beast of a phone, thanks to the special Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy chip that Qualcomm made just for Samsung. It has more juice for the CPU, GPU, and NPU, which means it can handle anything you throw at it. Plus, it has a huge vapor chamber to keep it cool and fast. The S24 Ultra has four cameras on the back. The main one is 200 megapixel and takes super sharp photos. There's also a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a 10 megapixel 3x zoom, and a 50 megapixel 5x zoom. The cameras are great. They take beautiful photos in any light, with lots of detail and color. They look as good as the ones from Apple and Google. The selfie camera is 12 megapixel and also takes nice photos. The portrait mode looks more natural than before. The S24 Ultra can also do some cool tricks with AI. You can remove or resize things in your photos with the gallery app. If you like taking photos at night, you'll love nightography. It's a cool feature on the S24 Ultra that uses AI to make your night shots look better. It gets rid of some of the noise and makes the details pop out more. 
The colors are still vibrant and realistic. You can also record videos in 8K at 30 FPS, which is super high quality. The videos look sharp and clear, with natural colors and good stabilization. The Galaxy S24 Ultra has a big battery that can last for a long time. It's a 5,000 mAh battery that you can charge fast with a cable or slower without one. You can also share some juice with other devices that support wireless charging. We tested the battery by watching YouTube videos non-stop with the screen brightness all the way up. The S24 Ultra kept going for 14 hours and 10 minutes, which is pretty good for an Android phone and better than the S23 Ultra from last year. We also checked how fast the battery charges with a 45-watt charger. It took about an hour and 20 minutes to go from empty to full. If you want an awesome Android phone, you can't go wrong with the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's got everything you need, a stunning screen, a speedy processor, a long-lasting battery, and amazing cameras. The Galaxy S24 Ultra is not cheap or small, but that's the price you pay for having the best of the best. Trust us, it's worth it.